therapy is what I'm trying to tell you. And Dr. Perry Wilson, an associate professor of medicine at Yale, is up early and joining us this morning. So the therapy makes your body think that it needs to have an immune response. Is this how it works? Um, a, a little bit. It's not a vaccine, as you pointed out. This new antibody, which is called bamlanivimab, really hard to pronounce, it's a protein that gloms on to a specific part of the coronavirus. It's called the spike protein, those little things that stick off the coronavirus, actually. Um, if you see pictures of it, that protein binds to that, so it prevents the coronavirus from attaching to yourselves and infecting your cells and infecting them. The caveat is the FDA only gave this emergency use authorization for patients who are not in the hospital and who don't require oxygen. So this is in the early stages of the disease and among people who are high risk. Also, this is an infusion. It's not a shot. You actually need to have an IV placed and it kind of drips into your bloodstream like, uh, you know, like an IV infusion. So you're going to either have to go to a hospital or an infusion center to get this. So we're not talking silver bullet here, but, you know, at this point, we'll take whatever we can get, right? Yeah, isn't that interesting? You'd have to go to a hospital to avoid being hospitalized <laughs> with a exactly. therapy. You know, experts say that like 80% of the population would need a vaccine for widespread protection across the land um, while there are people who are hesitant. So what do you think about that in light of Pfizer's promising early results? Yeah, such encouraging news from Pfizer. Um, as you know, we haven't seen the official paper yet. We've only seen the press release, um, but it looks really good. 90% efficacy, um, that is a high bar for a vaccine, better than most vaccines out there actually, which is really exciting. The other thing I'm encouraged by is that prior studies asking people if they'd get a vaccine have suggested that the number one thing that would motivate them to get a vaccine is how effective it is. So I'm really hopeful that some of the more pessimistic estimates that only, you know, 50% or even fewer people in the United States will accept a vaccine are going to end up being on the low end as enthusiasm for this built because we really do need to get as many people vaccinated as possible. The more contagious a disease is, the more people you need to vaccinate to shut down the pandemic. And as we've seen, coronavirus is super contagious. So um, the CDC just put out a renewed, I'm going to say, holiday celebrations guidance here um, as we have Thanksgiving coming up, saying, you know, outdoor gatherings are recommended when possible. Obviously, the weather isn't going to allow that to happen everywhere. Um, what other considerations for small gatherings of family and friends um, stuck out to you on that? Yeah, the CDC stopped short of specifying like a given number of people that they think is safe inside a household. Instead, they just sort of gave gave a range of risk. Uh, the lowest risk, obviously, is you just celebrate with the people who are already living in your house every day, and that is the safest thing. And then they go on to say, you know, smaller gatherings are better than larger gatherings. Outdoors are better than indoors. People should be wearing masks. There should be lots of hand hygiene. Um, one thing that the CDC is not saying, but I will add if I can take the opportunity, is now that there seems to be a vaccine on the horizon, I really implore people, you know, we're at kind of the 10 yard line here. And the last thing we need to do is fumble. Let's this Thanksgiving, hate to say it, it's going to have to be small. It's going to have to be quiet. We need to get through the next three to six months to get, let that vaccination program take hold. And then I promise Thanksgiving 2021 is going to be amazing. It's going to be a great party, but we have to make it through. So I really implore people, keep it small, keep it intimate this year and look to the future when things are going to get better again. Dr. Wilson, thank you. Appreciate you.